Not more than an hour after Officer French had searched the basement, Fleet White also searched the basement. These two searches would have occurred approximately between 6.10 am and 7 am on the morning in question. During police questioning, White would also claim that he actually opened the door to the room where John Bonnet's body was later found. During questioning, the police pressed White on what he saw when he opened the door. White claims to have not been able to locate the light switch, and that he could not see inside the darkened room. Here is a still image from a video recording of the Ramsey's basement. The image shows the light switch here. Although the light switch is slightly higher than most, it seems that it would not be too difficult to find. Even with this being the case, we really have no reason to doubt any of White's testimony. Note, Fleet White would later become skeptical of the Ramses, and was critical of how they were not cooperating with police. If White's testimony is accurate, a question arises. If White did open the wine room door, could he have been able to see, at least the white blankets, that were wrapped around John Bonnet's body? Even if he did not turn on the light, would any external lighting have illuminated the room? Here is a video of the wine cellar room viewed from its doorway. The lights are not on in the wine cellar room itself, but there seems to be external light illuminating part of the room. If this was similar to the view that Fleet White had on the morning in question, why did he not make out the wrapped body of John Bonnet? The accepted explanation is that the room was just too dark, and White did not see the body that was literally feet in front of him. A second explanation is that the reason White did not see the blanket trapped body when he opened the wine room around 6.30 am was because the body was not in the room at that time. The second explanation would suggest that John Bonnet's body was moved after the initial search. But who would have moved the body? If John Bonnet's body was not yet in the wine room, her body must have been in a place that a guilty John felt comfortable she would not be found. The crawl space has been suggested, and there were probably several sufficient places in the large basement to hide the body. The basement was apparently full of nooks and crannies that Officer French would have been unfamiliar with. If John Bernays' body was not in the wine cellar room when the initial searches took place before 7 am, then when was the body moved? And how would someone have the opportunity to move the body after the police arrived? For most of the morning, the police presence was limited to a single person. Detective Aunt would later say that John was unaccounted for, around 10.30 am. John himself would later say that he was in the basement, looking for anything out of place. Is it possible, that John moved the body during the time he was unaccounted for? According to Detective Aunt, John acted more nervous after he returned from the basement. Detective Steve Thomas believed that an innocent John had discovered the body at this time, but chose to protect Patsy. Although the real explanation for Fleet White's failure to see John Bonnet's wrapped body in the wine room will never be known for certain, the chance that the body was not in the room yet is an important possibility to consider.